All right, Shalom. We are the Hebrew Israelites from the Indianapolis camp of the Great Millstone. And we're here to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Rakapadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well in teaching us this 100% truth. Salutations to them and our fellow Akim who labor in this truth week in and week out on the highways and byways. Also, salutations to the hopeful elect of the scattered 12 tribes of Israel, scattered to the four corners of the earth that be like unto the speckled bird, also known as your Israelite foreigners and your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and they are as follows. The tribe of Judah, the so-called Negroes, the tribe of Benjamin, the so-called West Indians, the tribe of Levi, the so-called Haitians, the tribe of Simeon, the so-called Dominicans, the tribe of Zebulon, the so-called Guatemalans and Panamanians, the tribe of Ephraim, the so-called Puerto Ricans, the tribe of Manessa, the so-called Cubans, the tribe of Gad, the so-called North American Indians, the tribe of Reuben, the so-called Seminole Indians, the tribe of Naphtali, the so-called Argentinians to Chileans, the tribe of Asher, the so-called Columbus to Uruguayans, and the tribe of Issachar, the so-called Mexicans. To you, we say Shalom. Shalom. All right, we'll just get right into it. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. Psalms 147, verse 19. He of his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Yeah, so all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because he showed his word unto the children of Israel, right? Jacob, you know, we got our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob's name later changed into Israel by wrestling with uh, the angel, you know, and he, and through that wrestling with the angel, his name later changed to Yashar Allah, which is Prince He Power, okay? That's what makes up the 12 tribes, which be the sons of God, okay? And then, of course, his word being shown, which is uh, the spirit of Yahweh Shai, which is in the volume. He's in the volume of the book, okay? And so all the judgments that come upon Israel, that has come upon Israel, no other nation uh, has dealt with uh, the judgments or even received uh, the love from the Heavenly Father placed upon him, a uh, place upon them. He's only shown his love and his judgments unto the children of Israel. Right. This, okay. is, uh, this is Amos 3 and 1. It says, Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. O children of who? Israel. Israel, go ahead. A against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Yeah, so from the beginning, the, they had you have 18 nations. And, and from those 18 nations, he narrowed it down to one in which he loved would be the children of Israel. Of course, you had um, Isaac, who had Jacob uh, and Esau. But he put by Esau, and, and he chose Jacob. And from Jacob, you had the 12 tribes of Israel. And they were given the law, statutes, commandments through Moses, you know, by coming out of Egypt and, out, and from Egypt in the wilderness by the finger, the hand of the living power. He was given commandments who we in turn passed that, that down unto the children of Israel. Someone can get Deuteronomy five, uh, 4, verse 5, and we'll read down to 8. Uh, I got to read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, and verse 5. It says, Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, mm -hmm. even as the Lord my power commanded me that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. So as we understand that, again, he, the, the laws and commandments was given down, given to Moses. Moses now has uh, provide, given this information, these, these knowledge, unto the children of Israel. And he said that we should do what? It says that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. So as we understand that the, the laws, the commandments are forever, they endure forever. So in all the places in which we were to, we would be scattered, when we, by the Spirit of the Lord, he would bring a remnant that would gain this understanding, and we would come back to the laws and statutes and commandments as it is this day. Go ahead. Verse 6. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear 
all these statutes and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Okay, so if somebody get Joel uh, 28, 28, 28, verse 28, it says, this is our wisdom in the sight of, of the nation. Yes, Okay. I got you. You got it. Job 28, uh, 28. And it reads, And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of Yahweh, that is wisdom. So this is the wisdom that the Lord has given us. The fear, the reverence, okay, the knowledge of, of uh, the Heavenly Father. Go ahead. And to depart from evil is understanding. And to depart from evil is understanding. So the nation... Uh, would look upon us and see that there is a there is a reverence that we have to the one true power okay and the one true power you know will more likely go more into that you know as far as the knowledge of him the things in which he's created you know from the heavens the earth the things within the sea and out of all the nations he's chose israel that he would place his love upon okay this is 2nd Ezra chapter 3 verse 31 I do not remember how this way be, this way may be left are they then of Babylon better than they of Zion or is there any other people that know of thee besides Israel or what generation has to believe thy covenants as Jacob right so again just going into Israel is the only one that the Lord is dealing with okay that's, um, and you can see that by the judgments that are that are happening upon the earth. There has not been a nation. There's not. Oh, okay. There's not been a nation, you know, upon all upon the face of the earth that has received at the highest level of uh, conditions or curses. If you look at Deuteronomy 28, you know, we talked about the blessing, but then he goes into curses starting at verse 15, and you got your so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians make up. Um, you know the 12 tribes of Israel and they all fall at some point of another at, into those curses no other nation has dealt with them at that magnitude okay. verse 33 mm -hmm. and yet their reward appeareth not and their labor hath no fruit for I have gone here and there through the heathen and I have seen that they flow in wealth and think not upon thy commandments yep so they don't take any so, so even to this present day they don't they don't look at our labor, you know, as as anything, you know. And we look out, we see that all the other nations seem to be prospering at this current moment. But there's a reason that the Lord has put us in this position. First and foremost, we we were given law, statutes, commandments, and we fell away. You know. Read that one more time. Yeah. It says, uh, Second Exodus three verse thirty three, and yet their reward appeareth not, and their labor hath no fruit. For I have gone here and there through the heathen, and I and I see that they flow in wealth and think not upon thy commandments. That's right. right. These heathen, they're not built up in you know, Washington or something. Mean, they take no count. It's, it's all about their fleshly desires, man. They haven't been given the spirit like the like the children of Israel have been given. Especially what? The elect on this side. You know? right. It's a weigh thou therefore our wickedness now in the balance. And there is also that dwell in the world. And so shall thy name nowhere be found but in Israel. Yeah. So again, at, at, in the end, you know, it'll be actually, if you, if you look in the scriptures, you know, you find that all the men, all the great men in the scriptures, all the prophets were Israelites. So then in the last day, you'll find that there will be Israelites who will be speaking of the name of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh means he, he is to be, he exists. And Yahweh Shai is he saves, he delivers. So, of course, in the very end, Israel will be saved with an everlasting salvation. It says, or when was it that they, it's like the verse 35, or when was it that they which dwell upon earth have not sinned in thy sight? Or what people have so kept thy commandments? Thou shalt find that Israel by name have kept thy precepts, but not the heathen. Right. right. So, again, it goes back to that Amos. You know, you only have I known of all the nations. Uh, you know, therefore he would, uh, we're, we've gone under, you know, many afflictions and persecutions because 
the law, statutes, commandments was given only unto Israel. All right. All right. All right. This is the book of uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32, beginning at verse 8. And it reads, When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Okay, so yeah, so when, so when everything was created, you know, from the beginning, um, he, set, he set everything up based off of, you know, of course, first and foremost, yeah, Yahweh, through Yahweh Shai, and then we have the, the elect, and then when Israel, you know, was created through that, all right? And of course, as time went on, everything is being set up according to the, the lot of Israel. Okay. That's right. Yeah, because yeah, right. That's right. Because all about the children of Israel in this area. Right. Yeah, these other heathen nations, they got their little, you know, their set area that the Lord set up. But it's ultimately what to be separated, separated from us. You know what I mean? right. That's That's when. Oh, because this, this is what I'm saying. Like when all they got their land was set up, and their sons and kings, whatever case may be, Israel received theirs last, and they received the best. Yeah, the best. That land for them was. Verse 9 reads, For Yahweh's portion is his people. Right. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. So, so again, in the end, the, the portion, the mainly, the goodly parts of the land is going, everything handed down to the children of Israel. And so, of course, that is a blessing in itself. Then we we'll go through all of these things, you know, as a as a father would chasten his son, you know, we go through these things because we fell off, but as a father would, he is building uh, the nation back up and is bringing us back up to where we will be uh, those kings and priests upon the earth, ruling the entire the entire earth. Okay, so on this on this side, we've seen we see how how it is it is to be ruled to be ruled by wickedness. And we see where it leads to, and it leads to only death and destruction. And so now we're being placed in a, in a position to start to put our mindset in the kingly mind of how to rule by what? The law, statutes, and commandments. Because, we, again, we fell away and we lost our heritage as to Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. Right. This is uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 78, beginning in verse 5. For he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children. Yep, so again, it tells like um, and Moses had mentioned that, you know, you speak of these commandments from generation unto generation, and somebody can get that. He said, pre-teach these to your children, right, from generation to generation. But of course, at one point, we had lost our, we lost our heritage. And we're and we're coming back to it, and uh, of course we had um, and to this day we got great men who have been risen up in the end, you know, starting with our head apostles, the uh, GMS, uh, our head our bishops and elders, and those that teach the likewise doctrine, and they and they uh, were taught, and now they've taught children. So now we're coming back into that generation, where which we would consider that generational, the, the true generational wealth, because this wisdom is going to bring you to a kingdom, a kingdom of abundance, a kingdom of peace, a kingdom of rest. So that's what uh, we're, we're seeking for, right? Um, they get that in, in our, uh... I got one. Go ahead. Yeah, this is yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got uh, it. Like said, teach them to the generation. Okay. I got it. Okay, this is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 9, and it reads, Only take heed to thyself, and keep thy soul diligently, lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen, and lest they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life. But teach them my sons and thy sons' sons. Right, so that's how we continue on to pass this down to, to ourselves and, and our sons' son, where the scriptures say, Train up a child in the way he should go, and he should never depart. So now that uh, when he grows old, now, you know, when he grows old, he would never depart. So that way, these things are being passed down um, to, from our our elders and bishops, and and then we're passing it down to our children. 
Okay. I want to add on to what the brother was saying. That's why our people are so so messed up nowadays because, you know, most of our people are not teaching uh, their sons how they're supposed to be living according to the scriptures. That's why everything is so messed up and unbalanced because that our heritage is not being passed down by, you know, our uh, the main portion of our people besides the, you know, the prophets. That's right. Uh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah we got a couple. Okay. 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 So, 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 chapter 5, verse 28. And Yahweh Bashim Al-Shai heard the voice of your word when you spake unto me. And Yahweh Bashim Al-Shai said unto me, I have heard the voice of the voice of the words of this people, which they have spoken unto thee. And they have well, and they have well said all that they have spoken. Oh, that there were such an heart in them, and that they would fear me keep all my commandments always that it might be well with them and with their children forever. Right. So keeping the commandments it, it brings you to life. Okay. It prolongs your days. Right. And the, the, and the point of it is that uh, like a father would his son his daughter you know you would pass on the goodly things down to your children. And so this is this is good in the sight of the Heavenly Father. You know he handed it down. He showed his love. He says, if you love me, keep my commandments. Mm -hmm. Or when we draw nigh unto him, how do we draw nigh? By taking heed to his word. And he will draw nigh unto us. Huh. Right? And so we want to pass that down also to our children. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this uh, Joshua's this group of points even further. This is Joshua 1 and 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then shalt thou have good success. That's right. And and again, the um, the success that we're looking for is the is the kingdom. And ultimately, you know, we pray that we're in that number to be uh, to be saved, okay, to be beamed, beamed up into the chariot. And again, we're we're rehearsing the righteous acts. We're we're not going to get it completely right on this side, and we understand that, but we are trying, right? It says, um, it says, seven, fall seven times. Yeah, that just one, man, righteous, just, righteous, yeah, righteous yeah. man, fall seven times and get back up. So yeah. we, you know, we continue on, you know, we may, we may mess up, but then we come right back into the scriptures. That's why we lean on each other, the brothers, we seek the counsel, you know, to make sure that we're moving in the right place. Because again, when you depart from the laws and commandments, you are you actually are taking the way of evil, or you're taking the way of sin, and we know that sin, the wages of sin, is death. Right, right. So it's very imperative again that we're teaching each other, that we're um, lifting each other up, and we're keeping us, you know, in our minds in in the way of the heavenly Father, you know, to the best of our ability. Yeah, I just want to make that point. Is that teach thy sons and sons, uh, and that's just a cut saying, you know. That he's only dealing with the men in the scriptures. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 8, verse 4. And it reads, Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. So pretty much that's, that's telling you right there. He's only dealing with the men when it comes to the delivery of, of, of his word. Okay? He tells you that again in uh, Ezekiel uh, 34, uh, the 30 and 31, his flock, his pastor are men. Okay? He tells you that again in Revelations 21 and 3. The, uh, the, the tabernacle is of, of men. This tabernacle. The tabernacle of Yahweh is, is men. So, you know, here again, he's only dealing with the men. Right? And when it comes to the delivery of his word. All the prophets were men. Okay? And you see the prophets are back here today. You know, according to uh, 1 Corinthians 14 and 32. All men. Okay? And when you go into numbers, they talk about the pedigree. They line them up by the pedigree. You know, the, of the house of their father. Yep. 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 And even when you go to that term, when it says children of Israel, it says by him. Yep. You know, which means sons. sons. God. So, God. Just add to the, the brother's point. Yep. Uh, the scripture is speaking to the, the men. That's what, we, what most call the elders. Mm -hmm. All men. All men. Yep. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? So just add to the brother's point. So I can see why the Lord is dealing with the men of the, uh, of the nation of Israel. Right. Right. Yeah. And, uh, then the point um, is Isaiah chapter 59 verse 20 20 to 21 and the redeemer shall come to Zion and that's the film that term of transgression 
and Jacob said Yahweh by Shemel Shah. Yeah. And that, that Redeemer represents Yahweh Shah. Right. You know, he's going to come unto Zion, which is Israel, the elect. Can you read that second part? It says, uh, and, unto, and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob. So you must have a repentant spirit, right? You got to return You gotta return to the Yahweh by Shemel Shah by, by doing, putting off the ways of this world, this life, Esau Edom's world, the so-called white man, his philosophies and ways of doing it will lead you to death. Okay? So we're to repent and turn away from the ways of this world and come back to the Heavenly Father. Right? And then, of course, that's where leading up to salvation by our Redeemer, Yahweh Bashi Shai. Yeah, just to add, add to your point, it says, unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob. Jacob, that's so, right. You know, people talk about, I always say, the body of believers, you know, all the other nations, they all turn from our transgression as we've been established. And he wasn't given the words in the law that's commandment of your how about you know shot. Right. right. So he ain't saying he's he going to redeem them that turn from transgression of the world, of the nations. No, he's speaking about those of the Israelites. Right. The, 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 the 12 tribes of Jacob. That's right. right. And I want to, you know, add on to what the brother is saying. You know, that's stated multiple times throughout the scriptures. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, in the book of Second Heaven, chapter 6, he compared, you know, the other people outside of Israel is Listen to the second Ezra chapter six and fifty five. Fifty four. It says that after and after these Adam also whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures of him come we all and the people also whom thou hast chosen. Right, so you know we, you know we came from Adam, but pretty much that we, uh, the the scriptures is only dealing with the nation of Israel, pretty much. Well, and that's that separation. Show that separation. I read that from that. Chosen, yeah. That chosen, that chosen was the elect. Yeah, read that again. Mm -hmm. right, it says, and after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. And the people whom thou hast chosen. And the people whom yeah. thou hast chosen. This is who? Yeah. The nation of Israel. That's right. This is. All this have I spoke before thee, O Lord, because thou made the world for our sake. Yeah. 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 All right, so pretty, that's just weird during the point that he's only dealing with the nation of Israel. Like you other nations uh, don't matter at the end of the day. That's right. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, you got more. Go ahead, though. Yeah. Uh, it says, and, and that's for the other people which also come from Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle, and have like abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah, that's a, uh, yeah, so he's like, as a drop that falleth from a vessel. So it's like you have uh, a big bucket of water, and the other nations will be considered that drop that comes from that bucket. But the, the vast majority, which is Israel, that's the portion in which the Lord is really thinking of. Right, that's yeah. What so if you, like, you got that bottle of water right there, you, you still you drop a couple of drops. You ain't worried about them couple of drops. That's right. You know, it, it, it didn't even hurt you because you got the whole abundance of water right there. Gosh, now, remember they said, like unto spit, so the Lord is comparing these nations up to spit. I heard spit on the ground. You ain't worried about that. Let me mop that back up and put it back in my body. No. That's right. No, you ain't worried about it. You just keep, keep it pushing. Nothing. Actually, yeah, actually, when someone spit on the ground, you, you jumping away you from it. Right. You try to avoid it. You don't want that on your shit. I don't want that. You know, so, yep. That's right. That was good, though. Yeah, I'm going so that's 57. That's 57. <laughs> and now, O Lord, behold, these heathen have, these heathen which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. And just reiterating the point, like you, you heathens are reputed as nothing. And it says it time and time again through the scriptures. But it says, uh, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. Why is that? Because we fell away from our heritage. You know, right. we we stopped following the law, statutes, and commandments, and that, that eventually led to us being under these heathens. Yep. That's, right. mm -hmm. that's, that's why you're seeing what that now 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 you see what service upon the horses, yep. right? Mm -hmm. the, the people, the chosen, the true kings. Yeah, we'll get that real quick. Yeah, I'll get it right. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter ten, verse seven. 
And it means, <laughs> I have seen servants upon horses yep. and princes walking as servants upon the earth. Yep, so again, you have, at this point, you have the servant, which is Esau, Edom, you know, they're, they're, they're in a power position, mm -hmm. okay? And then you, then you have the actual people, you know, who, who the Lord loves, they are the, they are the, the at the bottom, mm -hmm. you know, they are servants to the actual <laughs> servant, mm -hmm. okay? And so, uh, as it's Baruch, you know, talks about mm -hmm. that we're yet this day, you know, in our captivity, mm -hmm. you know, and we're subject to payments to who? Mm -hmm. Esau, Edom. Yep. You know, and, and they have a reproach. You know, they, they called us everything under the sun, but who we really are, which mm -hmm. are the children of Israel. You know, and we're under those curses again, going back to Deuteronomy uh, 28, and and so um, all of that, going back to what what he was just reading, is that the power dynamic is soon to switch. Mm -hmm. right. You know, of, of that, but we are we are the servants. Uh, Esau Edom is the yeah. servants that have power over us at this moment, but it was only by the hands of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Uh, and you know, right now at this uh, certain point in time, we're facing our punishment. You know, because the, mo the Most High He set up these law statutes and commandments for us to follow. You know, like when you have your your pops in your household, He gives you rules that He wants you to follow, and if you don't, you get punished for those things. Right. So we going we currently going through our punishment. Yeah, you yeah. can look at uh, the lynching. You know, if you go back to the lynchings, you go to the uh, the uh, many of our people being shot and killed in the street. You know, a lot of it be Jake that actually don't have uh, a lot of them find that they don't have weapons on them. But yet there's that false, the bearing false witness by saying that he was he had a criminal history and all of these different things. But again, that is the servant being being destroyed, being devoured, you know, by, you know, Esau, Edom, you know, this nation. And so, again, it, when you look out look out like even from the living conditions you know you see that there's nobody that want that really want to help you so-called blacks and Hispanics and native Indians. Right. at the top again isaiah 59 verse 20 and the redeemer shall come to zion and unto them that turn from transgression in jacob said you have about your shot as for me this is my covenant with them Say if you have my shot. Yep. My spirit that is upon thee, and my words which I have put in thy mouth, shall not depart out of thy mouth, mm -hmm. nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed seeds. Mm -hmm. Say if you have my shot from henceforth and forever. Yeah. Right. So even the new, so the covenants, mm -hmm. you know, the, the current, you know, the covenant, then the new covenant, you know, where it's going to put the law in our inward parts, mm -hmm. that's only to the children of Israel. That's mm -hmm. not for everyone. Right. Okay. Oh, that was another part hey, of it. Hey, remember this way, man. Amos, when I just read, right? Mm -hmm. Is that way, I'm going to punish you, you with your iniquity. Yeah, that's right. right. That's right. That's why he's doing with us. Right? That's right. That's why That's why we see these these heathens, you know, these people that are supposed to be under us, prospering and was what? The earth is beginning to the hands of the wicked. Mm -hmm. So this is their time to shine, man. That's right. right. Yeah. That was that second chapter three. Yep. 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 They laid out their wickedness of the home. Exactly. Right. 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 Are they a Babylon by the day of Zion? You know, but that's what we're in, in the background. That's second answer. We're supposed to about, yeah, people say we come from Adam too. We come from Adam. And you're right. You do come from Adam. Right? Yeah. Because through the flood with Noah and his three sons, the whole earth was repopulated through them. We came yeah. from Adam. Yeah. But again, as it's spoken on the death, into that scripture, it said, but the chosen. The chosen. That's right. right. right? Yeah. You know, so the chosen people that come from Adam. So you can say, it started going to, to the scripture, say, blessed be the Lord God of Shem, so the yeah. Shem. To our backside, yep. you know, down to the sea line of our to the Eber, line, yep. all the way down to Abraham, then to Isaac, and to Jacob. That was the chosen sea line that came out of Adam. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you can say, we all come from Adam, we all this and that. True. But you're not, you all don't come from the chosen sea right. that right. came from Adam. All right. All right. If, I'm, if I'm ahead in the scripture, you said, and see, not see, see, see. Here again, you're dealing with the man. Only men have seed. Yep. Right? This is uh, back in the book of Psalms, chapter 78, and verse 5. For he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers that they should make the known to their children, that the generations to come might know them, even the children which should be born, who should arise and declare them to their children. Right, and so, and, and just something actually that just came back to mind. Um, the Lord is the same 
was it today, <laughs> yesterday, <laughs> and forever. Uh, there is no, there is no variable, there is no turning, you know, in in Yahweh by Shimei was shy. If he said it, it is. This is what it is. It is what it is. He's not going to then change and say, out of he, he given his word unto, you know, our forefathers and pass it on down, and then later go, uh, no, and then give it to another nation. Okay, that would make him to be a liar, and that's impossible. Man, I'm the Lord, I change. Right, that's the other one. Got, you got that? Go, go ahead, ahead. bring it out. Spirit. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse that's 6. For I am Yahweh, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Therefore, right. ye sons of Jacob, which again, name changed to Israel, you know, the, the sons of the living power. You know, they are not consumed. He's going to leave a very small remnant, and the remnant of the elect that are actually going to be... Uh, that's going to be changed and lifted up into those chariots, mm -hmm. okay? So he's still got the covenant. All the promises are still with right. the children. Exactly. You know, exactly. at the end of the day, exactly. they can say, well, hey, why are y'all in this type of situation? Well, the Lord's punishing us, but he still got us at the end of the day. And I got to right. right. so right. right. you, guys, you guys rejected him. You guys rejected him. Yeah. Now he's going to give him repentance to the yeah. even general. Right. No, that don't really work that way. way. <laughs> no, there's no spiritual Israel. Yep. It's a physical it's you know, the physical thing, bloodline. All right, this is uh, uh, Psalms 132 and, uh, I'm sorry, verse 13. It says, For Yah it says, for Yahweh hath chosen Zion. He hath desired it for his habitation. This is my rest forever. Here will I dwell, for I have desired it. Yep, so again, yeah, there's, there's a scripture that comes to mind. It says, there are many devices in a man's heart, but the counsel of the Lord, that shall stand. So, again, and, uh, and all the many devices that people may, may concoct and think of, the counsel of the Lord shall stand. He's only going, he's only dealing with Israel, and, and if you can read that. Yeah, kind of, I'll just start. Uh, verse 14, actually. Psalms 132 and uh, 14, uh, I'll do 13 again. For Yahweh hath chosen Zion, he hath desired it for his habitation. This is my rest forever. Here will I dwell, for I have desired it. Yeah, so he's only going to dwell in the midst of Israel. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I also want to add on to what the brother was saying. It said, this is my rest forever. Right. So it, this, the Most High is going to be dwelling, you know, in Israel forever, and that's not going to change. You're not going to be able to change that. So pretty much you just need to deal with it at the end of the day. Yeah. Deal with the hand true as devil. And, and for the so-called so-called black Hispanics and native native Indians, this is this is a this is the good news, you know. This is the good right. news that yeah. that he didn't all the way utterly do away with uh, his children that he chose. He's now bringing forth the truth uh, and, the, and the knowledge, the wisdom, the understanding. Mm -hmm. And but you have to be taught. You yeah. have to listen to the men that are bringing it out. You have to have discernment. To understand, first and foremost, it actually has to be Yahweh Bashim Al Shai to bring you to this knowledge and understanding. That's but right. you what? But you have to also be patient for want to learn, and 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 all the things in which you thought you knew, you know, you have to then compare it to uh, the scriptures, whether it be precept upon precept, you know, and, and those who are actually teaching it. Okay, say so, because it tells you, let the Lord's word, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai's word, be true, and every man a liar. So right. how do we do that? By going deep into the scriptures. Uh, this is Luke Joel chapter two, verse twenty-seven. It says, "Ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord of your power. I am the Lord your power, and none else. And my people right. shall right. never be ashamed." Right. right. And but like I was saying earlier, that statement is reputed multiple times throughout the scripture. The Most High is not dealing with any nation outside of the nation of Israel. Right. Yeah, get Isaiah 45 and 7, uh, 17. I'm holding yeah. yeah, go ahead, bro. You're saying not be ashamed, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not come. The book of Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17. It says, But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Israel, go ahead. Right. And ye shall never be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. Right. right. So that's the world without end. So again, right. once once Yahweh Shah returned and he and he uh, gathered his elect from the four corners of the earth, the heaviest concentrated of Israel is in the Americas, but there are those that are scattered uh, throughout the four corners of the earth, and they're not all dark, dark skin. They may look like 
the so-called white man. They might look like a, a, a Chinese, and but again, they are all we're all scattered throughout uh, the four corners of the earth. It says, and they shall be saved with an everlasting salvation. They should not be ashamed nor confounded. The world without end. So when Yahweh Shai part those clouds and he gathers up the elect, uh, that will be the end of this kingdom, this wicked kingdom, and it will be a start of a continuum of infinity. We can't even fathom the mindset of how how long that would even be, which is forever, forever, even forever. Uh, right? But it's a beautiful thing because Again, this moment, the afflictions that we're dealing with at this present time, is but for a moment compared to what we're going to receive in right. the kingdom. Right. This is uh, back in the book of Psalms, chapter 78, and verse 7. That they might set their hope in the Most High and not forget the works of the Most High, but keep his commandments, and might not be as their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation. Generation that set not their heart aright, whose spirit was not steadfast with the Most High. Yeah. So, so again, the main the main point is that he's gonna that through his his son Yahweh Shai, he's risen up men that will come back into this this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and that our minds will be set aright in this particular case by doing the ways of the Heavenly Father to the best of our ability. You know, Right. All these precepts that were coming up, man, you know, the Lord is only dealing with the nation of Israel. Right? As it was stated in 2nd Ezra chapter 3 earlier, uh, thy name shall be uh, found nowhere but in Israel. Yasharala, Yah, He, Shar, Prince, Allah, Power. Right? Right. We're literally princes of the Most High. Right? Ultimately, He gave the laws on to the nation of Israel. Right? Ultimately, we're supposed to pass it down to our children. Our children are supposed to pass it down to their children, and so on and so forth. Right? Mm -hmm. Because ultimately, us keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments is what will make us a wise, great nation. Alright, let's go into the book of Deuteronomy chapter 4. Why does it make us uh, uh, wise and great? Because what? That's the heavenly knowledge, right? Yep. The Lord is giving from him to us. That's right. On earth you know? as it is and, and I was supposed to say, that's on earth as it is in heaven. Wow. The Lord's prayer. Yeah. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 7. Mm -hmm. But thus saith Yahweh Bashim El Shai, sing with gladness for Jacob, and shout among the chief of the nations, publish ye, praise ye, and say, O Yahweh Bashim El Shai, save thy people, the remnant of Israel. Yeah, mm -hmm. so these are the good tidings. You know, these are the praises in which we're singing by by letting you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, Native and Indians, Native Americans know that uh, that the Lord is now risen up men and are bringing. You know, the it's bringing people back or telling you to come back, and if you don't, you die, right? Precept. But the main point is we are publishing this out in the in the highways, the byways, you know, and this is the praise for what to save the remnant, which is Israel. Okay, only the elect is going to come back. You know, the, there's going to be a small remnant that will come back and will understand these scriptures and will start to change their ways. Precept. Okay. I'm gonna jump down to. Uh, Verse 10, actually, we're going to that. Hear the word of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, O ye nations, mm -hmm. and declare in the isles afar off, yep. and say, He that scattered Israel will gather him, and That's keep right. him as a shepherd do of his flock. All right, so again, we're, we're risen up prophets to, to proclaim that Israel is actually the ones who are, he has chosen. And that these are the ones that were scattered, it was mentioned before, scattered throughout all the four corners of the earth. And he did it by his hand. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai scattered them. But the same one, like we mentioned, um, you know, he changed not. He also said that he would bring Israel back and, and they would be saved. Yes. <laughs> Verse 11. For Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai have redeemed Jacob mm -hmm. and ransomed him from the hand of him. That was stronger than he. And the hand of him that is stronger than he is Esau Edom. That's our oppressor. Okay? He and and again, there's nothing we can do in our own personal, you know, we can you can gather up as much money. Uh you can say we're building a community. Uh you can say we're all coming together, but if it's not through uh Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, it's gonna it's gonna fall. It's gonna yep. it's gonna come to naught. Okay. Right. Um can we get uh real quick Isaiah? Um, no, Luke um, 1, 7, uh, 68 through 70. 
This is uh, this is Luke one and sixty-eight. Read, blessed be Yahweh, power of Israel, uh -huh. for He hath visited and redeemed His people. Yep, that redeem goes into He bought back. Okay, so so you had to be somewhere in order to actually come back. You know, right. so we were bought back through the blood, the sacrifice mm -hmm. of Yahweh. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, you know, three. You know, so come, it's back. 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 Yep. See? If they already had been there, right. Mm -hmm. Verse 69. And hath raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Yep, and that's Yahweh Shai, right? That's not our power, right? Go ahead. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Yeah, and the serv and our servant David, you know, that's the house, the house of David, which will represent the elect. Okay, it said, read that last part. Yep, it says, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the uh, world began. And ever since the beginning, you know, this has been declared by uh, the Heavenly Father, that there would be, um, there would be Yahweh Shai, there would be a nation in which will rule the earth, you know, forever, even forever. Okay, through all, through all, through all the prophets. Okay. It says, that we should be saved from our enemies. And from the hand of all that hate us. Yep. So again, when you mentioned about us being, you know, you had you seen servants on horses, right? And then in the Esau Edom and all the other nations have had uh, a great joy in the downfall of the children of Israel. They received uh, great wealth uh, by by the hands of or the backs of slaves, okay, captives, which are the Israelites. And we will be, and we will ultimately be redeemed and saved by our our Lord Yahweh Shai, you know. And it says, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember His holy covenant. Yep, and there's the covenant, the covenant that was given unto Israel, okay, and no other nation. Go ahead, bro. Now, just to expound on that part, where it said, yeah. and we ransomed him from him, from the hand of him that was stronger than he, and it's a it's a reason why they consider stronger right now because mm -hmm. of our departure from our power. That's right. All right. Mm -hmm. I want to yeah. hit, you know, just a uh, Judas chapter five real quick yep. to prove that point. Yeah. Verse eighteen. Uh, okay, yeah, verse seventeen. And uh, it's a and while they sin not before their power, they prosper because the Most High. That hated iniquity was with them, mm -hmm. but when they departed from the way which he appointed them, they were destroyed in many battles, very sore, and were led captives into a land that was not theirs. So this is just to let you know that the other nations know who we are, right? It's in it's in documented that hey, as long as they with their power, you can't you can't touch them, right? As long as they're under the buckler, the shield, you know, the protection. Um, <coughs> Of, of our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through Yahweh Shai, and they got the Spirit, they can't be touched. But if they depart, well, like we had mentioned, if you, if you go into another way, another philosophy, another understanding, you start taking on the ways of the heathen, all right, uh, then this is, this is what happens. Go ahead. And, and the temple of their power was cast to the ground, and, they were, and their cities were taken by the enemies. Yeah, and that's what happened to us. You look throughout all history, you know, we, you know, even mentioned like seven, like 70 AD, you know, we were taken down um, and, and went into captivity and many atrocities that actually happened unto our people. But many, king, many of the kingdoms, you know, from, you know, the Babylonians, the Greeks, the, Ro the Romans, you know, even to this present day, this was actually happened to be the very, the worst, the worst of them all. But now are they returned to their power and are come up from the places where they were scattered and have possessed Jerusalem where their sanctuary is. And I want to make it be known that this happened in times past. That's right. And say, and are seated in the hill country for it was desolate. Now therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error against this people. So that's what I was saying. If there's any error against this people, if they're not, if they're not keeping the ways and they're not pleasing their, their power. Uh, it says, and, and their sin against their power, and they sin against their power, 
Let us consider that this shall be their ruin, and mm -hmm. let us go up, and we shall overcome them. That's right. But if there be no iniquity in their in this, in this nation, or something, if there be no iniquity in their nation, mm -hmm. let my Lord now pass by, lest their Lord defend them, and their power be for them, and we become a reproach before all the world. Right, and that's actually is about as soon to come, as soon to come to to Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, their nation, this nation, and all the other nations. Uh, that has had a hand on us, right? There's a, and it's only by the mercy, the mercy, the grace of Yahweh Shai, you know, because he has compassion on whom he has compassion on, he has pardoned, you know, whom he has pardoned, you know, and we will know that in, in due time. Uh, Jeremiah 31, verse 12. Uh -huh. Therefore, they shall come and sing in the height of Zion and shall flow together to the goodness of Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. For wheat and for wine and for oil and for the young of the flock and of the herd, and their soul shall be as a water garden, and they shall not sorrow any more at all. Yeah, so we're looking again for that everlasting salvation, for that, that peace, mm. okay, to be redeemed and to not mm. have and not be under subjection um, ever again. Okay? Um, you wanna add, um, go ahead. So what the brother was saying, we understand that that's why two thirds of our people are going to have to perish because they're not going to get right on this side. They're too caught up in this world. So two-thirds of our people are going to have to perish before, you know, before that happens for, our, for us, pretty much. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I guess this is a quick one. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, verse 8. goes right into what you're just saying. In a little wrath, I hid my face from thee for a moment. But with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, saith Yahweh, thy Redeemer. Yep, so just again, this is the affliction that we're going through is but for a, a little moment. And again, we can uh, we can even put our minds together as what the Lord has prepared for us, you mm -hmm. know, for those who who actually uh, who actually make it, you know. And we and we we're looking for the ultimate crown. You know, that's why we're out here and we're doing what he tells us to do by going out and teaching and doing videos and, and, and listening to, you know, our elders, you know, that are, that are coming, you know, that's totally through the spirit, you know, of the Heavenly Father. Because, again, we understand that this is leading up to a kingdom. Now, if this isn't it, if this isn't it, then where is it? Because, I, cause again, all of us can attest that we haven't seen it in any of our other walks, mm -hmm. you know, and, and these men actually are breaking down the scriptures and they're making it plain upon tables okay so again that we could be led into salvation so let's go like you said tie to what we have read in that verse 12 so for that we need for the wine for the oil pretty much having all those things that, that we need as necessities like we, have, we ain't gonna never have to want for none we don't have all that our hearts desire that's right right that's so right. the main thing like we're looking for is what you know so salvation you know what I'm saying? Redemption, <coughs> goodness, gladness, joyfulness, you know what I'm saying? The covenants, we're looking for all those things. We ultimately looking for that rest yeah. that Yahweh yeah. Shemeshah has promised us. That we will have, you know, be our labors, you know, so from a song. But we want to, and we know that all Israel are going to be saved and receive, you know, all those things, like you said, for the Shemeshah together to the goodness of the Lord, you know, for weed, for wine, for oil, for the young and the flock, you know, pretty much just having all the things that we need. Right. That's what we all going to uh, eventually have. But what we strive for, and we give a diligence to make our election to call sure to be on that first go, that the first round draft picks so right. to receive that, to be you know, redeemed in that first resurrection, right? Because that means what we were since we did those things to the best of our ability, you know, by giving diligence and Yahweh Hashem Shai are predestined us to be of the elect. That's why we call ourselves the hopeful elect. Right. So Lord willing, we you know we be a part of that number. And that's what we ultimately we, we are yearning for and we desire for just that complete rest and all the goodly, you know, God, you know, godly things that we're going to obtain that we're going to receive once we get into the kingdom. Sorry. Right. And again, and that, and again, that's not, or let's say it this way, where does the other nations fall into that? Under our feet. Okay? Right. Because like you said, that, that was talking about, you know, in regards to just that, that point in this scripture, it said, therefore, come and sing at the height of Zion. Right. And it right. said Zion, and then at the bottom it said, they shall not sorrow anymore. So it said the Zion, so Israel should Israel. not have sorrow anymore. Right. But as far as like brother saying, you other nations, you gonna have sorrow. Oh, yep. Trust, right. trust and believe. Don't, right. don't, don't, get, <laughs> hey, don't get me wrong. Like yeah, <laughs> you know, like what's that scripture say? When the righteous of the authority of the people rejoice. Yeah, right. So, so you are gonna rejoice, you know, in the righteousness that come out. 
But trust and believe me for a time period, oh, you're going to be under distress and duress. Oh, yeah. So, right. so you're going to be under anguish. Yep. Yeah. You know what so says? Death and slavery and more death is going to come to you mm -hmm. for your wickedness. Yeah, that you right. I got what hey, right right. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I got what you're going to I'm saying, if I may add, a lot of that's going to be psychological first, too, because they're going to be looking and say, Dad, these are the people? Yeah. 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 Actually, actually, when you say psych psychological, Apostle Ricard was talking about, like, the, the angels are being shown right now yeah. that is actually the other nations understanding that they got to sit here and know that they're about to fall. Yep. Oh. They're about to die. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But yet for us, we're going to be left with Lord willing when that number, we're mm -hmm. going to be saved. Right. right. That is <laughs> the hope of life. We're, we're, yeah, yeah, we're excited. Right. Everybody else is like, what's going to happen? Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 What is that? Yeah. 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 That's your end. Yeah. <laughs> you about to get mocked. <laughs> Right. Yeah. I had this real quick because he because he mentioned yeah, it. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter uh, twenty nine, verse two. It says, "When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice; but when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn." Right. So again, at, and if you could have eyes to see it, you see that you know from uh, the, the trees, <laughs> you know the the animals. You got the people that are riding throughout the whole entire earth. You have people that are uh, have all kind of diseases. Uh, you see, um, you can't even drink. They say you can't even drink the rainwater. You know, where at a time it was fresh. Right, right. So this yeah. is like actually your point, right? Because scriptures say that the earth languish and is defiled, but that the inhabitants thereof. Right. right. And we right. Are, and, you know, just tag it to the brother's point. You saw Edom. You know, the, the earth was given to the hands of the wicked. This is the outcome, like the brothers go right. to all yeah. those, those various things of life that's pretty much poisoning. The whole earth and itself right now is dying and deteriorating yeah, and languishing yeah. because this man is the power, yeah, right? Going right. to the wicked being the authority. Yeah. But like, just tag to the brother's point, you know, you, you, know, you definitely have it back. When the righteous come back, everything's going to be, it's going to blossom full of light yeah, right. because it's going to be ran in righteousness. Right. Right. Mm. Right. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do a few examples to have what this brother was saying. I look all over the world right now. Birds are just dropping out mm -hmm. of the sky, dying. Yep. Uh, fish are just doing it. They're uh, committing suicide. Yep. Just Putting yourself on the mm -hmm. land, yeah. all right? Hey, hey, uh, it's flooded. Hey, hey, the earth's not a course, man. All right, but hey, these are all the things that you have about Shema and Shah, man. To, to, so we know how to do it right. So we know how to have a righteous kingdom, man. All right, we're not gonna have our birds not gonna be doing none of that, man. Our birds gonna be landing on our arms, talking to us, man. Right. Right. Lord willing, you know, right. speaking as a man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, no, man, everything's gonna be what the complete balance, like it's supposed to. Man, the yeah. earth is out of course right now. Right. You know? Yeah. 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 It's the book of Micah, chapter 7, verse 9. It says, I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness. Uh, uh, yeah, so ultimately, all right, the, the, when you go into that word indignation, that goes into righteous anger. All right, because uh, we have sinned against Yahweh Bashim al We have, we have uh, went against the Law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, and we're living in a day and age, all right, to where there is no uh, righteous judgment going out. All right, just because, um, because what was mentioned earlier, what the the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. All right, so so there is no righteousness, uh, really being executed throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, and it says, and uh, he will bring me forth to the light, and I shall behold his righteousness. So. You know, th th this is all, uh, you know, us being in this captivity, you know, being under the curses. All right. Th this is a, a, what, a, a, a teaching tool uh, for us. All right. So that so that we can uh, learn a uh, wickedness to not be be wicked anymore. All right. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, we, hey, we, we were wicked. All right? we, we were going against the, you know, the law, statutes, commandments. You know, you see the majority of our people, what they eat a lot of uh, abominable, abominable foods. All right. You know, they willingly uh, commit adultery. All right, you know, do do the things, all right, that go against the Yah Bashim Al Shai, all right, that pro, that provoke him to, to wrath, all right, because first and foremost we were set up to be a holy a, a holy people, all right, a, a righteous people, all right, and it's and at the end it says, and I shall behold his righteousness, all right, so so you know, hey, you know, Lord willing, you know, we're a part of that number, all right, we're you know, we're gonna uh, really be, behold the, the righteousness of Yah Bashim Al Shai, all right, and you know. Uh, Day in and day out, you know, we're always, you know, beholding 
beholding the righteousness of Yahweh by Shem Shah, right? Because, you know, through, through the uh, through the blessing of us uh, obtaining this word, all right, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and, you know, and we we pray that Yahweh by Shem Shah continues to sustain us with that with with this uh, with, with this Holy Spirit. You know? That's right. And we have we're lifting up the banner right now. You know, yeah. speaking this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Look. Highways and byways, electronic epistles. Hey, read that at the top again. Huh. This is the book of Micah, chapter 7 and verse 9. It says, I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him. Right, so we're going we to go through these afflictions and we're going to take it because we know why we're in this predicament. Mm -hmm. The rest of the world, two-thirds of our people and the rest of them, they don't understand what's going on right now. But us, as the hopeful elect, are we understand that all right, the Lord's chastising us right now so that what? We get that greater reward. All right, we have to earn our. We got to earn it here. Remember, with Matthew seven, we're entering that straight gate, a position of difficulty. All right, yep. so that's what comes with serving the Lord. All right, all right. you know. That, that's it, all right. This is uh the book of Second Maccabees chapter seven, beginning at verse thirty-two. For we suffer because of our sin, and though the living Lord be angry with us a little while for our chastening correction. So like the chastening and correction, yet shall he be at one again with the servant. Yep. So it's, again, this is a light affliction that we're, that we're dealing with. You know, we're going through these things. Like with, um, and again, it's because we have, we're not in our uh, rightful order. Okay. You have, you know, our women, you know, compassing a the man. They, they're the head. They're, they're um, ruling in many different uh, parts, which is out of order. Um, again, like the brother mentioned, now you have um, and uh, the, you have the the fish or the dolphins and whales beaching themselves. Yeah. Uh, you have the water is not even clean, really clean to drink. You know, everybody's why going. That? Why is that? Because you take all the things that clean the ocean out to eat. Yep. All right. You yep. call them a delicacy. That's right. All right. So now, even uh, and then on the flip side, on the land, you know, eating abominations that are meant to what? Clean the earth, but you want to make them delicacy. And normal food practice. Yep. Oh, and another reason is because you, you, you come out with this thing, so-called plaque. All right. Yeah, when, he, when, he, when, he, when these when these animals are beaching themselves, plastic is being found in their body. Yep. All right. And, and most plastics are not uh, are not degradable. You can't break yep. them all the way down. Uh, That's why you're throwing them in the sea. Are right? you interrupting the whole uh, ecosystem, uh, ecosystem uh, of, of the ocean, man? Precept. All right. That's not gonna happen in the kingdom, man. We're gonna pull your ass and see the clean it up, man. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Like, as to my brother's point, let's say if a righteous man was in authority, that wouldn't be allowed to do. Uh, all, yeah, all, yeah, all, all the fitness and those animals that clean the earth, the spot of the seaboard, so forth and so on, it wouldn't be allowed to be purchased. It wouldn't be allowed to be caught for game and to purchase and for you to eat. That's right. That's why this this man is the wicked. He yep. allows all that to go on. That's right, bro. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, the righteous would be like brother said. But we in power, he ain't gonna be able to do that shit. That's right. right. So what you what you what you fishing out the the catfish and the shrimp and stuff for? What you gonna do with it? Right. Right. So what you got a little zoo? You gonna put us somewhere? Right. Okay. Well, I'll show you. Right. No. Yeah. You, you you fish them out to what? So you can eat. You know, or you can sell to somebody else to eat. Yep. No, that's not gonna happen when we are not when we put on the throne. Yep. You know? All only righteousness is gonna be. You know what I'm saying that's gonna be the vibration that go out to the whole entire earth, not wickedness. With this man, we saw Elon being pushing. Right. 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 Like I said, he. His soul was just lifted up. It's not uh, right. right. That's so right. this man's just not right. Yeah. He can't get right. No what? And what? Isaiah what? Twenty six is there? Yeah. Uh, no, I got another one. And just and just really quick, just really quick with the upright. That that upright goes into integrity. You know, having integrity, being honest. Okay. So when we say that soul is lifted up, is not upright. Yeah, you look up integrity. You find that to to have integrity is to be honest and upright. And who would be that? That he he. Give, he's given that to the children of Israel. Yeah. He, meaning Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, right. is given the, the spirit to, of the elect to be upright and to have integrity. Right, because don't when, when bullshit happen, people are like, who would do such a thing? Who right. would allow it to happen? Yeah. Right. This Esau, thing. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah, Esau yeah. thought it was a happen. Yeah. 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 You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Why? Hey, bro, you, I thought I thought to eat him out at work one day. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah, back in the back in the 60s and so stuff, we just dump our oil down the regular mm. drain. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of taking it to recycle. Yeah. Yeah. That's the mindset of these people. Huh? Mm -hmm. And they used to have, what, have cop copper within a lot of the pony, and that copper would help to, like, 
clean, clean the water yeah. as well, and they took a lot of that out. Yeah, they took that out and put lead in it. Well, yeah, 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 now they poison taste. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And, and then, and then you get. Then you get, then you get, um, now you talk about the copper, yeah, the yeah, copper yeah, used to yeah, clean yeah. the water. Yeah. Now they put lead in like this brother was going to, and now mm -hmm. they changed the cold system. Yeah. You know? So yeah. now if you got copper in your house, you got to remove the copper yeah. and deal with the wicked lead. Yeah. Know? And, oh, and yeah, that's where it came back to water. Oh, um, and then you have like a uh, news or you have like a commercial to come up. If you had lead and yeah. lead paint or lead mm -hmm. in your house and you can sue like you can come up you know add into this lawsuit and all of this yeah, and yeah, so, a $200 check. yeah, yeah so they yeah. all so all of it man it the main thing is is that this system is it's, it's killing the people it's hurting the people okay no matter how no even the what it says even this tender mercies are cruel yep, yep. yeah you had the tender mercies of the wicked and cruel mm -hmm. uh, but i'm on this is uh, just to back the brothers up, you know, this is the book of uh, Psalm chapter 82 and verse 5. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. But you know, like the brothers are going into, man, you know, with the wicked and rulership, all right, things are out of course. All right, so, uh, uh, they bring it out, you know, the things, the, the, the sea animals that are supposed to be cleaning the, uh, uh, the ocean. All right, they're taking those up out the ocean and uh, using it for food. All right, you know, like the brothers are going to put lead in the water. All right, due to this wicked man being a rulership, all right, everything has left its natural order. All right, because he doesn't rule according to the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shemiah All right, he rules according to his own heart and his own wickedness. Therefore, that's why everybody is mourning. All right, as the brothers brought out earlier, when the righteous are in authority, the people will rejoice. All right, but when the wicked bears rule, the people mourn. And the people are mourning because everything has left its natural order. But Yahweh by Shemiah Bringing everything back to his natural order to start first and foremost, starting off with his elect. All right. Yeah, and I have said the creatures are waiting for the manifestation, mm -hmm. you know, or for the for the righteous men to be put back in that mm -hmm. order. Uh -huh. You know. Yep. Yeah. yeah. This is a this is a, this is book of Sirach or Ecclesiastes chapter ten and verse eight. It says, "Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit." The kingdom is translated from one people to another. Uh, now, ultimately, that's going into how wicked, you know, Esau is, man. They can't do nothing right. From the beginning of the time, you know, their okay. doctrine has been to destroy uh, Israel and uh, complete straight wickedness, man. And we understand that's why, you know, through those things, you know, Jacob is going to uh, eventually, you know, come back into power. You know, it's going to translate from Esau to uh, onto Jacob. Yep. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Uh, you know, just to back up the point you just made, it's the book of uh, the, book, the book of Psalms, chapter 62, and verse 4. They only consult to cast them down from their excellency, they delight in lies. They bless with they bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly to say love. All right, this is Esau's whole doctrine. It's just mm -hmm. complete and utter wickedness, man. You know, they'll come to you, you know, you be at work chilling, they'll come to you like, hey, buddy, and before they throw a bunch of bullshit on your desk, man. <laughs> nope. That's ultimately, you know, their nature at the end of the day. And that's why, you know, Esau is going to have to be destroyed. Silver tongue, heaven. That's the point, point, you know, like the scripture say, they only consult to cast him down from his excellency. Uh, like uh. you just say, you know, Esau's whole MO is, you know, take down the children of Israel, get rid of them. Mm -hmm. right, you know, ca casting us down from our excellency. All right, Esau doesn't want us to be restored back to the state we once were. All right, they don't want us to know we're Israelites, because they know once we come back to our power, all right, once we come back to Yahweh, Bashem, Hashem, we start coming back to his ways, following after his ways, forsaking his wicked ways, forsaking the ways of this world. That means their world will come to an end. Mm -hmm. right, ultimately, this is, this, ultimately, at the end of the day, this is prophecy being fulfilled. Mm -hmm. right. Right, there's nothing you can do against prophecy. There's nothing we can do for the truth but for the truth. Mm -hmm. There's nothing we can do against the truth but for the truth. It's a lot. Which goes back hey. into what the brother brought up in Judah. You know, as far as, hey, they, they keeping the commandments, or are they doing the will of the Father? They don't touch You can't touch them. You know? Real quick, hey. See, that's why, <laughs> that's why Esau don't care if you at the Black Expo or... Hispanic weed, or they ain't heard of that in those days. That, that, that keeps you what? Under an Israelite, alright?
the kingdom. I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they love us wearing dash sikis and black tires. All right, yeah. all right. Just black, y'all. Look at these black, black, black. Catfish and shit. Right, yeah. right. So a big vibe, right? That's what they, 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 that's what, that's the image they want to push on us. Yeah. No, nah, we can chill for this one, man. We go like you know, the Native Americans. Right. And there hasn't been, put, and there hasn't been an issue until we started saying, yeah. we're, we're the Israelites, we're the people. Wait, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. When we was in these, we was in these churches, you know, we were uh, hooping, hollering, you know, yeah, everything was fine. Fine, you know, fine. Hey, those small, those small hats, man. No question, they have. Uh, yeah. No, because I was going to say just to your point, because if they have to acknowledge us, then that proves the small hats are liars. That's right. right. Yep. That would that would wreck <laughs> everything yeah. they laid down. Yeah. Everything. So we've been sending billions of dollars to them for what reason? Yeah. Yep. To continue their Yep. Exactly. Yeah. Let's get the last thing right here. Last right here. Uh, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 26, and verse 10. It says, Let favor be shown to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. Yeah, so, so, those, so it, although the Lord, you know, has given them a time, you know, he's, he's showing favor unto them because they, he's given them a time to rule. So then there would be no excuse. You know, when all these things right now is being brought out, all the wickedness and things that they're done. So though favor is being shown to them, we see that through all the things that they have re they received in abundance, they have not been, um, they, they continue on in their wickedness. Read that last, read that again. Isaiah, uh, Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 10. It says, let favor be shown to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. Right, so he he didn't even have the scriptures, you know. They didn't have the scriptures, you know, in, in their possession. You know, they've done they do a diligent search, you know, of the scriptures, and and yet, out of all the scriptures that's in here, it tells you about how to how to live righteously, how to do well towards your neighbor, and yet they do uh, totally the opposite, and we can see it by how even the people, you know, it tells us in, um, in uh, Ecclesiastes ten. Verse 2, it says, as the judges of the people is himself, so are his officers. Okay? So as the judges are, you know, they, they judge this earth right now. The earth is given to the hands of the wicked. And and how they are, that's the spirit that's going on throughout the whole, the whole earth. Robbery, murder, death. Okay? You have more there? No. It's not, it's, it says, in the land of uprightness, Will he deal unjustly, and will not behold the majesty of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai? Right, and and we are the the upright ones, you know. And so within Israel, you know, you're not dealing justly uh, with us, you know. Even the ones that are trying to their best of their, their ability, actually, this truth right here should actually be pushed forth even harder. But yet, when you look on the YouTube, uh, the video epistles, many of the brothers' uh, messages. Are being uh, are being blocked, you know. They're they're keeping other from other people being able to actually watch, and but yet you can pull up a video of any type of folly, you know. It's just woman twerking, and she's got millions of views, you know. And so they're not they're not treating the men of the Lord uh, fairly, you know. And of course, it's because they can't get right in, it, in the first place. Right. So, uh, if I may add to your point, you know, like. It's, you know, Israel is a people before its place, right? right. So I say uh, in Atlanta, a brightness, they will not just justly. Yes, they do unjustly with us, right. but also in our, in our holy land, what are they known uh, for doing? Yeah. You know, right, you know, doing these multicolored parades. Because mm -hmm. that, that's how yeah. we also know that you're not the people according to the Bible. Because right. the prophecy told us that once the true people, Yahweh, yeah. Bashim, Yahshua, were back in the land, the law would be established. All right, so if you got laws that's going, back, going on, you know, back in our homeland, then who are the people in the land? Right. You know what? Y'all are phonies and imposters. Right, y'all are Emily. Right, Chief Prophet Esau. Right. Yes. Tie to it, and then what the brother saying. Psalm chapter fifty, verse sixteen. But unto the wicked, the Most High saith, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes? For thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth, seeing thou hatest instruction and casting my words behind thee. So again, like you, you've gotten this, you've gotten your hand on the scriptures, 
and you you <coughs> you've read it and everything that pertains to how to uh to to push your agenda, you know, and not the agenda of the Heavenly Father, you've done that. Right, so you've taken the covenant, you read through it, and so nah, we ain't gonna use the with that. <laughs> really, they in the trick bag, cause they still doing the will of the heavenly father. It's God, 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 yep. The deceiver, the deceiver, right is. That's uh -huh. right, that's right. So you thinking you're doing, you know, you're doing a service to yourself, but it's really a disservice. Right. And so you've taken the covenant of the, the words of the heavenly father, and you used it for your uh, your self gain. Yep. And right. uh, and it's gonna come back to bite you, and with it, and it's gonna bite you hard. Because I, I have in the, the NIV, and it's going to say, for Psalms 15 16, but to the wicked person, the Most High said, What right have you to recite my law or take my covenant in your lips? So that's in the NLT, they say, uh, But the Most High says to the wicked, Why bother reciting my decree? And pretending to obey my covenant. Mm, yeah. and that's and also going with two thirds of our people, those that you know, you pastors that's out teaching, yeah. got these scriptures, and you're out there and you and you you claim, uh, like I was uh, I was watching uh, Yasha Wombo, you know, it was a video where he's where he was talking about Christians talking about keep the commandments, we need to keep the commandments, and he took the a message to him was like, well, you know, can we eat? Um, he was like snake or you know he just was kind of throwing some abominable foods out there and they was like yeah so it was like confusion you know what i'm saying so you taking the, the words of the heavenly father and then you you add total confusion to it that's right so you always not all confusion actually wicked set you up to do something yep that's right fall not eat all evil right because like i said you know like you said like the wicked people but like you said to the wicked in themselves mm -hmm. right they the biggest hypocrites they yeah. act as if they believe in the ways you have by should not shine but like you said, then new people say what they say. Well, damn, are you still going into that building of worship? Right. If you got to keep the commandments, right? Yep. All right. That's against you. Yep. So that's why right. these people are hypocritical, especially when Esau, Edom, and the two thirds, you know, right, you know, right along with them. Yep. And that's why what they're going to receive, death and destruction, because why? It says that they hate the instructions of your house by Shemel Shah. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. right? It's a, uh, what does it say? For he that sinned up against me, right? Well, Sin well, is well. transgressed of the law. Yep. For he that sinned up against me, wrong with his own soul. soul. Right. Right. All they that hate me, Love death. Death. Right. So that's what's gonna come to all those hypocritical people. You know, recite the law, say we gotta do this, we gotta do that. But in their mindset, ultimately they actually hate it and they're not even living by it. Death gonna come to you. The Lord, you have much not shy, see that knows all what you're doing. Right. And you can you may can pull the wool over those other people's eyes, which are of the undesirables, but you can't do that over the men of the Lord. No, right. The spirit that you have much not shy exposing these things unto us. Mm -hmm. The scripture say that the Lord the Lord, you have by Shemel will do nothing, but he revealed his, his service to the service of the prophets. prophets. Right. So you can't pull the bull over our heads because we being because we being moved by the spirit that you have by Shemel That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Hey, we've so been given that eye salve. Mm -hmm. You know, not uh, the rest of the world, yeah. man. The rest of the world still doing this and still with their eyes. Yeah, like, still, yeah. <laughs> the rest of them got sleep. blinders. Yeah, they still we got <laughs> blinders on. Right, you know, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Go along and get along with yeah, that. Exactly. Following out a multitude of evil. Exactly. Uh, uh, this is, this is okay. back it up. The book of Psalms, chapter 10, verse 4, and it reads, The wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Yahweh is not at all in his thoughts. All right. So it, it, here again, you know, that's going back to what he was saying. Even though he may pretend, you know, he will not seek okay. after Yahweh. You know, as as a brother brought up uh, Isaiah 26 and 10 before, even though he's uh, the wicked has been uh, shown favor, you know, he, he will not um, uh, learn, righteousness. learn righteousness. He will not learn righteousness. He will not learn it, even though it's in there. As the scriptures say, the things are written aforetime or for our learning. Our learning. Our learning. Our learning. That's right. our learning. You know? in, in the time to even came. Huh? Yeah. Yep. Came. Yep. Without doing his will, shall not be accepted. Huh? Right. Yep. Right. Yep. Yep. What happened? It says, too. <laughs> went further into oblivion. <laughs> went further into wickedness. That's right. right. Prime yeah. example. Prime example. The last uh, two years or so, when all all the hysteria was going on, when all the hysteria was going on, if you if you if you get what we're what we're saying, you know, um, yeah. there was really nothing spoken of about. Uh, serving the Lord or doing the things in which the Lord, you know, things of natural called ways to um, put yourself in a good position. And if, I, if I can say it without saying, it, you know, but um, so that that's the thing, you know, no one was then saying, you know, God bless America, 
you know, or that's what they would yell, but the same thing, no one was actually really saying, this is how you actually get right with the Lord, you know, this is, come back to his ways, they are, they actually was pushing, like, you do it this way, or you're going to lose everything, from jobs to, you know, your kids to, you know, and then people are sick and dying because of that, and then yet you're still yelling, God bless America, but not doing the things of which, you know, the Lord, the Heavenly Father wants us to do. Hey, anybody screaming that's good, man, you against the most high, y'all watch another shot, man. The Lord's going to condemn this place, not bless it. That's right. That's right. It says, uh, uh, Yahweh is not at all in his thoughts. And why is that? Because he thinks he's as high as Yahweh. Yep. Yeah. All right? And that's not the case. You know, as brother brought out earlier, you know, deceive and deceive are his. You know? He's, he's, <laughs> and he's and the wicked is reserved, uh, is, is reserved for the day of destruction and the day of wrath he will be brought forth. All right? All right. All right. All right. With that, once again, we're going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who were well in giving us this 100% truth. Salutations to them and our fellow Akim who labor in this truth week in and week out on the highways and byways. Also, salutations to the hopeful elect of the scattered 12 tribes of Israel, scattered to the four corners of the earth that be likened to the speckled bird, also known as your Israelite foreigners and your so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. To you we say Shalom. Shalom. Ababa Bob. Ababa Bob. Kwam Yasharala. Kwam Yasharala. All right, Shalom to you, sincere Akim and Akwaf on the comment board. Shalom. Shalom.